Sure. Well, pickleball is spiking in popularity, but the paddle game may never has been as meaningful as it is this weekend in Savage. A 24 hour pickleball marathon is raising money to help a middle school teacher recovering from a broken neck. Fox 9's Corin Hoggard takes a swing at showing us why they picked this way of helping. Two zero one. The pounding of a pickleball paddle is music to Mark Hunter's ears. There you go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I can play six, seven, eight hours a day during the summertime. But since a snorkeling excursion in Hawaii last October, the Twin Oaks Middle School teacher for autistic children hasn't really been able to take the court. Just a freak accident. I jumped in, the next person landed right on me. Um, I broke my neck in two places, several months of couple surgeries and several months laying in a bed. He suffered significant nerve damage, had surgery in Hawaii and more in Chicago, where he started rehab with a familiar exercise. But his brain and muscles still don't communicate perfectly. Those nerves are just not quite connected yet and, you know, and I get quite a lot of nerve uh, burning pain. To help him afford all this care, pickleball players in Prior Lake and Savage decided to team up and play out Hunter's dream of 24 hours straight on the courts. Rain or shine. Temperatures were in the 40s. There was rain coming down, but this is far from the worst conditions that they've played in. We play all, all winter. I snow blow the courts whenever it snows. We keep them clear and we play down to minus 10. Organizer Tim Levier says they've raised about $6,000 to help with medical bills. Doctors tell Hunter he should eventually function about as well as before the accident, but it could take months or even years. He's hoping to get back in the game by the end of this summer and grateful for all the help along the way. I'm not a super hug person, but in the last like month I've got given more hugs and you know and, and it's it's great. I'm not a hugger either and he hugged me today. Uh, so obviously he's very thankful. Corin Hoggard. No! Fox 9.